Highlanders are coming back to New Zealand and they're doing it via the Caketon. They will be facing the Hurricanes in round four of Super Rugby. The team has undergone a couple of changes, as you can see in the pack here, except for Scott and Shannon Fazell coming into the team for the starting lineup. It is Wellington, the Hurricanes at home, taking on the Otago Highlanders, who are on the road for the third time this season. This is also our second New Zealand derby matchup, which is very intriguing as we lost the first one that we face. It's not going to advantage early to the Hurricanes. As we just don't like taking those kickoffs. I am thinking seriously about getting rid of the instructions at the bottom as well because although I don't know the game that well, they're taking up important screen room. Here come the Kane zone, it's through Kane Lau Pepe. Charging the away over the 10 meter line. And TJ Piranara. Marking the instructions for a short run. Oh, look out! Ali Savia monstered! Absolutely monstered by the big man, Putty Putty Parkinson. Into the back line they go. Bottom barrel picks one, loses the ball! Highlanders turnover! And it's back to the advantage. Goodness me, we just lost a minute of gameplay there. From the knock on, here is Perinara. Gets out to Luis Houston. Playing it inside centre, an interesting position there for the Hurricanes' usual winger. As they kick deep down into. Now 22, we've knocked it on off the set piece as well. Not going away, it's James Letches. Oh, he got the intercept. And he could have been away as well. Perinara, now to Barrett. Gets one away and slices it off to Wes Houston to score. What a play from Bowden Barrett. Created all that space from the little, little shimmy step inside. Leaves out Porter Fenders for Dust. The conversion is over. We are now behind the scoreboard. And if we know anything about the Highlanders chasing games, we don't really like doing it here. Let's try and get this kickoff system going because we nailed it once. Let's see if we can nail it again. Back on the way we go. It's wide and out there is Waisaki Naholo. He's found, of course, Tyrell Lomax on hand. Oh, we've lost the ball. How do we lose it so easily? Bona Barrett's kicked it away. Leading back there is Ben Smith who finally picks it up. Now Smith running back, he passes through one. Great chicken run there from the veteran fullback. Well, what do we do here? We fire it out, that's what we do to no one in particular. And it's poor old Yuani, who was actually looking to kick there. He's, he's made a complete hash of it. Have we held on to the ball? I think we have, I mean, what do we want to do here? I don't, I don't want to pass it. We've just got to get rid of it. Get rid of it! Oh, that was too close from Ben Smith. We are almost at half time. And we are desperately trying to keep our game intact. Kate, go to the middle of the line out. Barrett runs hard at the defensive line from finding Wes Houston, who's a dangerous runner. Inside that channel! Oh, Red Quincy bamboozling defenders there. But knocking the ball on eventually. Come on, Aaron. Nucky, get it out. Oh, goodness me, it took an age to get it out there. Finally, Lomax, I want to get it out wider. Wider still, it goes on Ben Smith. He wanted to cut back, but he's absolutely bulldozed. Now, Aaron Smith has got a boss course being charged down. That could have been a catastrophe, and we will run it. Surely dead for a 22. Oh, we've got, of course, the advantage on our side. Right, we'll take that. Now, here's Fattis. Create the space, Matt. Good from Thompson. Oh, quick hands. Finally, oh no, it's fallen to Ben Lee. He's going to go back for it. He is in a world of bother. We are getting outplayed massively by these Hurricanes. Charge it. Just get it through him, Opo. Goodness gracious me, we are just not surviving here. And now we've knocked it on. I mean, where are we going to gain anything by kicking that away? The New Zealand Derbies seem like they are a stretch too far for our poor Highlanders. Oh, they create space with absolute ease. 
The ball has been spilt, but we will go back for the original knock-on, which was by the Highlanders. I would love to steal a scrum. Now more than ever, we're almost at half-time. I can't believe we're still really hardly in this match. This season, easy running for Jordy Barrett from fullback. Too easy for the Hurricanes, and they lead 12-0. Over the poor old Highlanders. Here's Bodie, the brother of Jordy. So Bowden Barrett to slot the extra two. Half time it is, 14 0 the score. Well, a stark contrast to when we faced the Australian teams, I tell you what. Now let's see if we can nail this again, Waisaki. This is our only hope at the moment of getting the ball. It's, uh, it's a bit flat. Oh no, Holo! You've got to hang on to those men! It's been picked up for five for Vita! And we still don't have anyone back there to try and keep the ball. That kickoff is just not working for us at all. Giving away a lot of metres there. Now, where's Hooson? With a, a deft little chip over the top, and Tavita Lee gets brutally hammered. And we've not held on to the ball! How not? That is really, really strange. Great run here from Lao Mape. We are getting outplayed, outmatched, outbullied by these Hurricanes at the moment. Here is Hussein. Short one. Turnover, turnover. Yes. We've got the ball. We still love Jordy Barrett. Got a bit of a, maybe an injury. So we've got to play it down. And here is Liam Coltman. I need a friend. I need a friend. Finally set up for Zell. Back and field. Not the one we wanted. Buddy Parkinson, that's the hard yards. Here is Rob Thompson. Oh, Rob, pass Rob, 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 Rob. Backwards like a freight train. We can't even get our side steps working here because we're just getting brutalized. Here it is, Naholo. Oh, he's got away from one. Why sucky? Looking to link up, he can't. And it goes into touch. We're 11 minutes in to the second half. And there's Dane Coles to throw in to the line out the Kings. Easily win it at the back. And now they give it away to Bowden Barrett. Oh, he's too hard and too skillful. He has chipped it away. And Tavita Lee takes the tap. Oh, it's advantage offside. I'll take that. Now we've got to attack it. We've got to manage our side. Get in there, boys. Quickly, do the hard work. Right, let's charge. Let's charge away. It's Naholo. Naholo trying to shimmy his way through. We've still got advantage for the offside. I like it. Keep it up. Out to Yuani, who hardly mentioned, and he's knocked it on. We've still got advantage, haven't we? Surely we'll take touch, please. Really don't know if touch is probably the right option, considering we can't afford to let this clock run down anymore. But we need, we need the territory. We need to get in there half. I mean, we have been just brutalized inside our own half here. Milner Scudder, where's Houston? What a combination these Hurricanes have. It's at the back and Aaron Smith gives away to Josh Uani who runs sideways for feeding off to Matt Fattis. Here we go, this is what we excel at. Rob Thompson, he won't need a friend. Rob Thompson will score. That is what the Highlanders bring from the set piece. Kick to touch. And then the finish from Rob Thompson. Support on his outside, but Rob gets the job done. Here is Yuani, puts in a little feather of a kick. And he halves the deficit now, 14-7. We need to keep this up because we need the ball and we need points on the board. Here is Lynch's, a fortuitous bounce here for the flanker. Offload from Thompson, it's trying to income. We're back in their territory. We swing it. Tavita Lee looks to get on the outside. Tavita Lee does get on the outside. Supports from Fettis, who steps back in. Matt Fettis wants to beat. Might not need it, Fettis. Beautiful pass to Wynog. And the try. Highlanders get a double. Wow. Where'd that come from? Don't ask. Because it was magic. The magician never gives away his secrets. Here is you are, and he's put it wide. Oh no! That is not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. We trailed by two, which is a real shame because we needed that conversion. It's tough to kick from the right. 
We've still got three and a half minutes to do something magical. Here is Lynch's. He's the magic man. It's been all the Highlanders in the second half when we've lost the ball. Unbelievable. I thought we were going to be on a roll. Put him in touch. Just about. Come on. Let's keep these guys out. To Munger Allen. Let's not go too close because they have gone wide. Keep up the defense. Keep up that defense team. 14 12. Three and a bit to play. Keep it one on one out on that right hand side. They're going to kick. No, they run. It's a good run too. Vai for feet. It gets away from the one defender we had there. Can we turn that? I like the fact we've turned that over. Quincy getting just demolished. We keep it alive through the hands. Buddy Buddy Parkinson is out wide. Luke Whitelock is out wide all by himself. He's got a friend in Rob Thompson. The clock ticks down. We're not going to kick this away. There's not a chance in the world. Yuani. I don't want to give it short. We're in too much of a bother. Parkinson. Himopo. Here we go. Shannon Frizzell. Kicks it alive. Oh, Lynch is, Oh, he's going to lose it. Lynch is, Oh, he doesn't. Let's give some credit here to James Lynch's. Somehow held on to that ball. We are still going backwards here. Now, as we get numbers out wide, we start that forward momentum. Quick hands. Can't quite link up. Lomax, not the man we wanted out there. Now we fire it out again. Looking for a way through us, Rob Thompson. Try to go himself there, Rob. Oh, he's a good little run. Matt Fattis, he splits him in half. Looks out wide as Parkinson. One more to him, Opo. Keeps it out for Naholo. He's in a world of trouble out there, though, Naholo. Somehow, I think he's held on, is he? Oh, he has. Coltman, 18 minutes, six on by. We've got just a couple to full time. Here's the shot play. Luke Whitelock, he's got friends. He won't know need them. Look out wide, Whitelock. Look out wide. It's Lances. Not the man I thought we had. Here it is. It's a beautiful run from Tavina Lee. We're within five metres now of the Hurricanes line. Yuani, wide ball intercepted from Piranara. And the dream may die right here, right now. A minute to go. They give out to Lamb. And he can't get away from a big prop standing in his way. Kick it away, Hurricanes. Come on, just kick it away. Yes, 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 I love a piece of that. Where are you, Ben? Where are you, Ben? Oh, Ben, what have you done? Ben, oh no. Ben, Ben, Ben. Mr. Reliable has just maybe lost us this game. Not to say we were going to score anyway, but still, what an offload. That is to buy for Vita. And we've just gone for five minutes from their line. Now to our own 22. Disaster for the Highlanders. Houston. We need the ball. More than anything, we need the ball. We need to put players out of this breakdown because we're outnumbered. Massively out here. Critch going for a bit of a scamper himself with a terrible pass. For Fina gets back inside. Oh, we can't hang on, can we? Just minutes to go. It looks like it may be. Oh, it's a penalty. Let's go, boys. Let's rock and roll. Matt Fattis has it. We're looking for a wide pass. What's going on here? Fattis. Caught the ball on the ground. Now we get it out wide. Ben Smith. Oh, he's been swallowed. Big tackle. Time ticking. And I'll tell you what, team. Time is up as I was looking at the clock instead of at the breakdown. We are inside our own 22. 20 minutes is up. The game is over, but here's Josh Yuani. Never one to give up. Yuani out of his 22. Rob Thompson to his left. Support on his inside if he can get it. He gets it to Rob. And we get over halfway. Let us sit. We now give out Frizzell. Aaron Smith goes short to Parkinson. Nice ball. Keeping it alive through the Highlanders. Oh, a tackle break from Whitelock. Looking to the right side. Can we get it away? Oh, it's knocked on. Advantage. Unbelievable. Oh, I can't believe it. We've stuffed it so late in the game. Why didn't I go the cutout pass? I had Tavina Lee waiting on my outside. I didn't give it to him. And we've lost both of our New Zealand derbies. Oh, that is frustrating. Very frustrating.
We had so many chances to win, but let's give it to the Hurricanes' defensive effort in their second half. That was too good for the Highlanders who could not push their way. We pick up another losing, losing bonus points. But look at their two tries. Too easy. They played exceptional rugby for the opening hour. We dominated the rest, but we just didn't have that outside speed to keep it alive. I don't want to look at substitutes. Let's have a look at this. Yes. Look at that position. Second half, we dominated. But territory, I told you, we spent most of that game in our 22. 82% of territory. Tackles missed. We're very even. But I feel, I really feel we should have done better. Where's Houston and Jordy Barrett, the two, two try scorers? Bowden kicked two conversions. But for us, it wasn't good. It was Whitelock and Thompson with a try piece. Joshua, he one out of two. And I don't know where that drop goal came from. I think that was me stuffing up a clearing kick. Uh, but we'll take it. It was a shot at goal anyway. There are the ratings for the two sides. Um, not that it means much. Let's move on. Let's have a look at the table. We've lost to the Chiefs. We've lost to the Hurricanes. We need to get better. So with that two-point loss, we pick up another losing bonus point. That means four games we've played, two losses, both with a losing bonus point and one win with the four-try bonus point. Puts us on 11 points now. Uh, we sit very even in the middle of the table, don't we? Uh, the Crusaders top four out of four. They've conceded some points, thank goodness for that. Um, but look at us, the Chiefs and the Hurricanes. Two wins, two losses. And it is the poor, woeful Auckland Blues that sit down the bottom with just one, one point to their name. There's not much between these sides. The results from round four, of course, we've been down 14-12 to the Canes. Uh, the Rebels got thrashed by the Brumbies. Wow! Canterbury, the Crusaders, 15, the Chiefs, 14. Can't get much closer than that. Oh, look at that! The Sunwolves, 15, 14 over the Blues. Yes! Go the mighty Sunwolves. Waratahs took out the Reds pretty easily. Lions went down to the Hagwaras. And the Bulls took out the Sharks, 12 nil. Um, some big games there from round four. Into round five we go. Chiefs are up against the Canes. That's a mid-table clash there. It's going to separate those two sides. Uh, the Brumbies will take on the Waratahs. It's Derby week, it seems, in round five as the, um, the Stormers take on the Jaguars. The Sunwolves take on the Reds. And the Highlanders say, oh, dear me, we're taking on the Crusaders. Oh, no. And then, of course, the Lions will take on the Rebels to round out um, round number five. Oh, dear. Of course, Canterbury. Had to have it sooner or later, didn't it? Okay, so we've got a couple of misses here. Uh, tough luck in the last game. That was a tough loss. I think we should have won that game against Hurricanes, but not enough in the end to get the job done. Our top performers, Matt Faddis, Rob Thompson, and to be the league. So a midfield and a winger. Got to love a bit of that. So the uh, pack, nowhere to be found. As for the Crusaders, George Bridge, David Harvey, and Will Jordan. Of course, just, just a few, you know, not to name the All Blacks on this side. God, doesn't get much easier here. Let's have a look at the side for <laughs> the Crusaders. I mean, look at that. Look at those propping options. Joe Moody, Michael Alonsoa, Owen Franks, Tim Perry, uh, Cody Taylor, Andrew Macalio. Ben Fennell, oh God, Scott Barrett's injured, which is a little consolation. Sam Whitelock, Luke Romano, Quinton Strange. Uh, Fitu Douglas is injured as well. Jordan Telfo, Matt Todd, oh my God. They don't make it easy for us, do they? Um, Kieran Reid, of course. Bryn Hall, Mitchell Drummond, oh God. Rishi Moanga, Mitch Hunt. It's a disaster, folks. I tell you, it's a disaster. Look at all these players, how much they cost. Phenomenal. George Bridge, he's going to be a handful. Oh, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this at all. What a star-studded side. I don't like it. I think we're going to go two wins, three losses here, but we are accumulating some points here. So, of course, as always, do let me know where you think we should plop our points. Uh, we might do a mid-season um, boost to the team, see where we sit, but we are still second thanks to our bonus point situation. That is it today for this episode. It is... Episode 4 of this season number 1 
And of course, we're mounting up those recruitment points too. We got one of each for the bonus point loss. So we're up to 17 now on recruitment. Um, eight and six on skill and attribute points as well to spend. So let me know what you think, and we will build these guys up and unleash, hopefully, something a bit better in the second half of the season. Who would he spend them on? That sort of thing. Let me know in the comments. But for today's episode, thank you all for tuning in and watching. I hope you've enjoyed that narrow, narrow loss to the Canes. And we will see you all next time for more rugby. Maybe we should look at a drop goal. Maybe we should have kicked a drop goal. Why not pick a drop goal? Ah, oh, see you tomorrow.